I know it's shocking for Hollywood, but it seems like handsome casting actually works. And it's something that's an age-old tradition in Hollywood that has been forgotten in recent times due to the political circumstances around people such like the Me Too movement and other objectifying of a lot of women in these aspects. And people have pulled back from choosing characters or just actors themselves that are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. We saw this in a lot of properties. Most recently come to mind is a uh, Wheel of Time. A lot of the uh, actors there are not as uh, aesthetically pleasing as people have read in the actual books. We saw this in Star Wars with Rey. They, they even spoke of uh, the producers that they wanted to find someone that wasn't as attractive or just feminine in her physique or anything like that. So we have these studios just focusing on getting people that are not pleasing to the eye and just want them to be focused as characters themselves unfortunately for star wars and the wheel of time they failed at the characterization so we, we didn't get that quality performance from those actors and add to that on top of that we didn't get the aesthetically pleasing look that we all look for but one piece does the opposite it casts people that have talent and look well too and i think this is a dramatic change in some hollywood standards and in this particular i think it's because of the writer and the creator of the show had control over who was casting and we're seeing a lot of people on the internet kind of just gushing over a lot of the male actors and i think this plays in part to the success of one piece where a lot of people are just talking about the actors and just how they look and how a lot of female fans are being drawn to the show itself just over how sanji and their appearances and i think this is like a, a signal of the old-fashioned times where uh, a lot of Hollywood producers are recognizing that, okay, female fans of any popular franchise like attractive men in different roles. And I think this is the case here where we're hearing a lot of chatter online about these actors. Even Mihawk is getting a growing fan base for him. He wasn't even in the series that long. And th you see this happening with other characters, even Shanks. People are gushing over him. We have fan edits just featuring all the characters that a lot of the female fans that are just been drawn to one piece due to netflix uh, producing the show and having it front and center i think that is uh, one of the strong draws to the show currently where people are excited to see these male handsome characters take front and center stage and i think it's an interesting topic at least for me because you see the opposite happening in a lot of tv shows they're going for more uglier more crude looking characters i think wheel of time even the witcher itself is an example of that where they're looking at characters for more aesthetically displeasing looks where they're not looking for the the typical feature feature film good looks that a lot of old hollywood style producers used to look for and i think one piece doing the opposite is getting a positive reaction where people are really gushing over the looks of these characters and i think it's bringing a lot more female fans i know a lot of uh, women around me just love every single male character listed here they love shanks of course Sanji, Zoro and these characters and you just see the chatter itself online where there's a lot of people gushing over these characters and I think it's an interesting point to point out because if you just look at One Piece itself of course it's obviously a successful franchise that just started even without the, the live action animation but I think this step to just the focus on getting characters and actors that are just that have that look itself that we usually see in uh, the animations that overly aesthetically pleasing look I know One Piece is not known for that but applying that to, to the live action version of One Piece I think we're getting a positive result here because all over TikTok you see a lot of people just a lot of girls fangirling over these actors these characters specifically Zoro like the characters from the animation and it shows characters that are aesthetically pleasing to a large general mass audience and I think this applies to men too men want to see people that look more healthy and athletic and I think it reflects back on them here where they see okay these guys are healthy athletic and strong I want to go on an adventure with them and I think that is a, a, a good uh, combination there when you choose these two different character traits and when you're selecting an actor you draw in two fan bases and i think this is a two-prong approach that hollywood always used uh, in the old times uh, at least like 20 years ago and i think it's been forgotten in the past five years due to politics just uh, people trying to reach a, a political standard and the things they do 
within Hollywood. And I think that obscured the overall money making sense where you're trying to please the audience. And I think right here with One Piece, we're having a good demonstration of pleasing the audience with choosing actors that look like someone they want to see in a star role. You see that with Zoro, you see that with Sanji, and I think we see that even with Emily Rudge. She wears uh, the clothes that may attract a, a, a large group of male audience. I think they're probably going to continue that. And I, I just uh, this is just my opinion. I'm just seeing the chatter online, the different fan, fan groups. And I was just really interested in this development where it just is so much new female fan and fans coming to One Piece that would never read One Piece. You have girls fangirling out over Shanks. I'm like, what? This shit, people really are growing like a, a fan group over Shanks. And uh, even he carries that charisma and that look and attitude of Hollywood where he seems like a, a attractive, charismatic guy that a lot of females are going to be attracted to. And his characterization has that a kind of manly outlook that women are attracted to. And I think Hollywood tends to try to feminize these type of men in other products and projects like Wheel of Time, where Wheel of Time, the main character is doing dishes while all the female secondary characters that were supposed to be background in the book are front and center. And they're all ugly too. So it's just, it. I think it's a crazy juxtaposition with these, these new modern TV shows that are not doing well, that are being panned uh, widely. And you compare it to one piece that is taking the old classic aesthetic looks of Hollywood and transferring it into the modern times again after it being abandoned for the past seven years to a decade and reintroducing it and I think uh, we're having positive results I think that is a combination of course the story of One Piece is amazing in and of itself but the story itself is also following basic tropes of storytelling and I think that is uh, the essential quality of One Piece is just back to the basics a hero's journey following your dream hardships fighting through the hardships achieving those dreams and encountering another challenge that is even greater than the previous challenge and i think following those basic concepts you have a show that's addictive interesting and attractive and i think that is the core principles of one piece but anyways i'm just sharing my thoughts tell me what you think do you think handsome casting counts? I know it sounds strange for me to bring it up, but it's just a thought after seeing a lot of fan groups popping up for these characters. I think it's an interesting piece of information, a fact. But you tell me if I'm strange. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.